How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to talk about how making bread can actually save you a lot of money. Now when you look at this, it sounds really simple, right? You just make bread. Yes, if you make it yourself and when you make anything yourself, you're going to save a lot of money. It's the idea behind trying to accumulate more skills, more knowledge, and then you can use this to apply it to make whatever very basic thing that you actually need. Now sometimes making certain things might not be worth your time. For example, for flour, you might get some grains instead and then mill it out yourself by hand. Well, if you do it by hand, it might take you too long, maybe an hour or two just to make a couple cups of flour. However, if you motorize it and then you use enough flour, you might be able to make it cost effective enough. So whenever I talk about doing things yourself, you cannot extend it to absolutely everything. Sometimes when factories make something, they have economy of scales. They have really large machines that can do it very, very fast. And so they can sell it for you for really cheap. Bread, on the other hand, has some side benefits. Whenever you make it yourself, it's a lot fresher and you don't have to add in all these preservatives in it. So let me go through how I make bread. It's really easy. I just put all the ingredients together inside a bread machine and then I walk away for about three four hours I come back and boom there's a loaf of bread right there I've calculated the cost of all the ingredients and you can see over here flour you buy a five pound pack for four dollars or so you use only three cups of this and I calculate this to be about 60 cents of flour from this five pound bag if you buy a bottle of 48 ounce of oil that's about three dollars and nine cents total oil that you would use in it it's about 25 cents and then you get the point everything I buy it's a little bit bigger than what I actually use and then just divide it down and then go okay this is exactly how much I use for this particular recipe butter 18 cents sugar 12 cents yeast if you buy a little packet yes it's gonna cost you 46 cents worth of yeast but then if you buy the larger jar it's only gonna cost you 30 cents every loaf of bread and then there's salt here if you buy store-bought bread you cannot control the amount of salt here I personally like to have very little salt so then I only put a quarter teaspoon of salt in this whole loaf of bread. So that's only about a fraction of a cent, one fifth of a cent over here worth of salt. Now I estimate the amount of electricity is about 10 cents right now. I'm gonna make the bread, I'm gonna measure it with this kilowatt meter thing and then I can actually know exactly how much it used. The time it normally takes me to do this without recording a video, it's about 10 minutes or so. All I have to do is just measure out all the ingredients plop them all in. I don't even have to mix it because this bread maker thing, it mixes it itself and it lets it stand by itself and then it bakes it by itself. So all of this added together, your total ingredients cost and electricity is about $1.60. If you go to the store and you buy a fresh loaf of bread, it'll be about $4. And so the savings is gonna be about $2.40 or so. I have a Gold Star bread machine and you can no longer buy these anymore, but there are plenty of them out there. I found one for about $70. If you're interested in this particular one, it's like an Amazon choice one I'll leave the link down below and so in order to recuperate your cost you need to make about 29 loaves of bread so if you eat one every single week you can complete this within about six months or so so this is not bad if you're the type that likes bread and you buy every single week week after week and you spend lots of money on it and so this might be a viable solution and this thing I'm pretty sure it'll last longer than six months so all the bread that you make after that it's gonna be a bunch of savings to you so as easy as that is let me show you all the ingredients I put in and then you just wait a while and then you get your bread. So here's my machine. It's very simple. There's baking control A, B, C over here. Program select basic bread, sweet bread, whole bread, French bread, rapid bread, or just dough. Now baking control A, B, C. It's very simple. It just cycles through it. Program select one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to do basic bread, which is one A, just basic. Open this up. You see all the way down here, there's a little mixer thing. This little thing will mix your dough together. And after you're done, you just kind of move this out. And then there's this little heater thing over here. And this thing is the mixer down here. Put this back in and lock it in. And then I'm going to put in my ingredients. First, you need three cups of flour. So I'm just going to dump that in. Two cups right here. Three cups. Quarter cup of oil. Two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of sugar. One full packet of yeast. And like I said, this costs about 46 cents worth of yeast. Just gonna dump that in right there. Try to get everything out. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. This recipe started at three quarter teaspoon of salt, so I reduced it to one quarter over here. And finally, I have one cup of warm water. It needs to be warm enough so that you can put your finger in it 
and not feel like, oh, it's so hot, you got to remove it. So this is warm. If you have it too hot, it's going to kill the yeast and it's not going to expel any carbon dioxide. And thus your bread is not going to rise because of that. So make sure this is just warm enough so that you can actually touch the water. Put this in. And now we can just press start. So you see it's basically just kneading the dough. It's gonna do this for a while and then let it rest and then it's gonna bake it. So I've done this plenty of times and I've noticed there's always gonna be some dough that's stuck on the side. So after it does it for a while, I'm gonna come back in and clean up the side a little bit to make sure um, it's fully incorporated into the dough ball. I'm just gonna go in there and sort of push it all in, help it a little bit. So notice after I start it, it says three, three, six. This is three hours and 36 minutes. Yes, it takes that long. So when you make bread, you gotta plop it in, run away for a couple of hours and then come back and then you'll have your bread. About five minutes of mixing or so and then it stopped. Now it's resting. Half hour later, you see it rise to this level. It looks like it's expanding quite a bit. Let's take a peek. All right, another hour and 16 minutes left. After the heat turned on, it kind of shrunk in a little bit. 29 minutes left, this feels really hot, but let's take a peek. Okay, it's done. So to unlock it, you just kind of twist it open like this, and then we can pull it out. I'm looking at the kilowatts over there and it says it used 0.35 kilowatt hours. So that's about three cents. I estimated about 10 cents. So, you know, a little bit less. Just kind of plop it out. You see, it comes off really cleanly. I don't even have to wash this almost. Here's the bread itself. There's the top over here. And you can either cut it this way or the lengthwise. So you want a serrated knife for this and because it's still hot, you don't want to put it in a closed container yet. There's all this steam coming off. Have it loosely closed until it cools down to warm temperature and then you can put it inside a sealed container. So for now, I'm gonna cut a piece off and eat it. Just like this. Look at this, oh my gosh, hot bread. Hot bread is always very delicious. Of course, over here, you see that thing where it's mixing it. I mean, in normal bread, you won't have this. Uh, so in your bread making machine, yeah, it's gonna have like a little mark. So let me try some of this. Taste. Mm. Yep, tastes like bread. Except it tastes like fresh, really, really fresh bread. Of course, it's fresh. I'd say it's slightly more buttery than the bread that you buy. So I just hand cut all of these. So there you have it. I cut the bread. I ate a piece already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces or so. So this bread is thick enough that you probably only need even one piece. You probably don't need two pieces or else it'll be a pretty heavy sandwich. So thanks for watching everybody. Again, if you're interested in a low cost bread machine, I'll leave a link down in the video description below. If you're interested in supporting my channel, check out my Audible link down in the video description below. And if you don't like this audiobook or this service, you can cancel it before the subscription expires and you don't have to pay a thing. And yet you can still keep this audiobook for free and help benefit this channel. I also have a t-shirt sale down below that has a honey badger icon that says infinite vacation. Because if you use a bunch of these tricks, that's where you're headed. You're gonna reach financial independence much faster and then you're gonna obtain infinite vacation. Now I have a whole bunch of these options to support this channel. You can pick any of them. You don't have to do any of them if you don't want. So this is completely optional. I have a Patreon over here if you're interested in asking me more detailed finance questions and you don't want it to be public. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to that subscribe button so that you get a new notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.